Hello everyone, and welcome back to Azure here for episode 19. Uh, we're pretty much continuing on just after where we left the last time. We've done the soybean harvest and the cotton harvest. Cotton, we just managed to get most of that done before we hit the snow. I uh, came out roughly, I feel just after, no, just before 9 this was. Wait, should we have voice traffic off? Not sure why is that? But yeah, so we've been a little bit busy. We've got all that done. I think soybeans we've got about 90,000 years. Yieldage was pretty okay in places. We did hit a really bad patch somewhere amongst the fields, but that's fine. That's a free crop essentially, so. In terms of what we're going to do with some of these crops and that, I do want to get the bioethanol production on the way by Schultz modding. I think, all in all, I think, I think, what was it, how much does it cost? It's over 100 grand, I think this was. 170, I think. I don't know, like, was that the diesel production? I'm not sure, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Also, whilst I'm transporting this, I've got the manure. And as to see here, for some reason, our lorry of slurry. Oh, it's going the wrong way here, we were. So we have to go straight along. Oopsie. But you know what? Oh, no wonder it's so laggy, it's just because. Oh, really, you stupid worker. I'll see what you want to go with. Um, I've got an idea. It's good for me actually go with the scenic route. Come on, let's back up. Just give it a bit of a love tap. Is that enough for it to go now? Come on, there we go. Nope. Just shuffle your way down. Was it with AI? All those workers here. Can't get good help nowadays. But to be honest, it's sort of my fault because it is very slippery. You know, I was having issues with navigating this a little bit. Not too bad, it's just to be, like, be careful with finessing it and that. Well, bear with me a sec. Whilst I go and get this recovered, and then we'll resume getting this sold. There we go, managed to get that all sorted, so gonna unload the manure. I'm gonna unload the slurry as well at the same time. I have pretty much have near a full load of slurry, I think, or was it a full load? Not too sure. Why is it saying target not reachable? What way is it not reachable? Just for some names and that. But yeah, so it's back on to what we were doing and that. So yeah, in this episode we want to potentially get some sheep in. So all in all between the manure and slurry we got 71,700 in, what, 800 or whatever. So not too bad. We're back up to 100 grand, that's enough for the tail store. We'll cut across here. But yeah, so the cotton will take that over to the spinnery, and actually, doing some quick math work now with the facility, it's actually more efficient if we use a combination of wool and cotton, because there is a part we can do sort of bulk where you make fabric from a bit of cotton, a bit of 
of wool and then get fabric from that. So we may we've got like what was it eight thousand years of fabric ready. So when we get the tape story, that should be enough for at least I think a couple of months, I think, about two or three months. If I recall. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, so again we'll cut across here, I know we shouldn't, but I think we're gonna make a quite a lot of money from this, I think. I've still got the Yes I know being accepted here. But we've still got, was it, the furniture itself. So we could look at getting some new sold today. So that is 39,000 litres for the eggs. Just getting the rest of the bit sold. Ain't gonna be a big hole because there is still some pallets to get which didn't have enough space to spawn them because of the ridiculous pallet limit. Come on, there we go. So yeah, 20 grand from that. Yeah, it's just again all this helps to the farm, so Ah, uh, this is the trade that we had issues with so last time was it? Yeah. What was the other trade we had issues with? No, it was this trader. So, you know what? I'm just going to do a little cheeky. Uh, where is it to? Get rid of vehicles. Trace should still pop up, so I'm not sure why that's not popping up. There we go. Sorted. So that is a hundred in ten grand plus a little bit more. So yeah, not too bad. So we're back up to just over a quarter of a mil. And again, we'll just cut across here, go to sawmill. And then we'll have a look at getting some of the furniture sold. And you know, this can actually... Oh, Sorry about that, that might... Yeah, that was my alarm going off there. So yeah, we'll get this back, because I want to get the TLX and the trailer. I want to get the cotton loaded onto that. So that we can take that over to the spinnery. This will take back to the farm, get loaded up with milk. And yeah, I think that's just going to be the general aim of this episode, is just get everything sold, I think. Just get as much money as possible. Ideally, I would like to do some farm work, but it's, as we uh, see with my driving, it's just, it's a bit annoying. We did lease a John Deere Plow 2420, I think it is. A big one, 60 meters. I think this is 60.7, 24.10. My apologies, my correction. Actually, what we could do is get this filled with water and get the sheep in because we did also lease a animal transport trailer that can hold 96 sheep. So, a bit cramped conditions, I'll admit for the sheep now, but it's only temporarily. It's only temporarily. Is she saying looking out? Nope. 
much short now, we can just go ahead and sell that. Because I don't think we need that particular... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could have got an extra couple of hundred quid from that, but... Not too fast, especially with the amount of money we're making. Walls gonna be a bit tight fit. There we go. So we get that loaded up with milk. How much is milk selling for at the moment? Not too sure. So that's selling for yeah, about thirteen hundred. Seems to be alright. Actually, I've got an idea. We sell this to the bakery, no, the dairy, sorry. Then potentially we could buy the dairy. Or could we get a more efficient one? Like, like the spinnery, could we get a more efficient dairy plant in? Because I want to make chocolate in that so we can get some donuts in. Where is it to? So there we go, we've got the carpentry, sugar mill, grain mill, spinnery, food factory, dairy. So yeah, we can get that in for 70 grand. Get that built and get some contractors in, but again, where to place it? I think somewhere like here is actually not too bad of a place, have it somewhere near the road. I think you know what? Let's go and place that. Uh, should be, or... Just, again, it's a whole landscaping situation where... Ooh. That's all I'm going to do. Save the game, first of all. Just in case it goes wrong, like with what happens with the sheet pen, then we can just twist it all around and yeah, correct her any errors. So, uh, so where is it? Two. So the downside is we won't be able to actually sell the milk here. But you know what? Fifty. What was it really? It was like 60 grand or so. You know what? I'm not too worried about. So we want the dairy. I should could be place it somewhere. It's these annoying trees. It says this camera's collisions, but what, where is it colliding with? I think it was. It's just like stumps now. Potentially, it's colliding or what? Yeah, let's, let's go there. Right, this place. We'll do some landscaping once the snow has fallen a little bit. But yeah, cause sort of see what I mean about the steering. That it's a bit meh. Yeah. Bit vague, and again, also we've got sides to sell. May at least a bigger tree for that, so we can do like three trips rather than I don't know, like ten trips or whatever it is, or well, not ten trips, I think like five trips, so five, six, seven trips, so <laughs> yeah. So T is over. So yeah, 47,000 years. Not yeah, it's not going to be too bad, and obviously we both feel nice just to have it as a placeable feel, but I think having it sort of spread out, ooh, trailer's there, get the car loaded up, take that over to the spinnery, but I think having it sort of located more general on the roads would be better, mainly just for the ease of access and that, more than anything else, so...
So the input is here. Come on, stop doing a million, <laughs> a million mile turn in circle. So actually, we are yeah, they're the same, so we could off again do the secretly off, get rid of the old one and put the new one in, but I think because of where the manure and slurry boy points are, don't know why they're there. I think, yeah, have a you know, like horse manure next to your dairy plant. It's not going to be in the most hygienic, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so now we got that in. I think this year is going to be a very productive year for the farm. We're almost full of sunflower oil. It's fine by me. We'll get you running. Ooh, we can get soy milk. I think soy milk is more for the general. Uh, what's it? Yeah, whatever. But for the packing facility itself, so. Yeah, we could look potentially look at that, get like a million pound pallet, but it requires a lot of work, so. So I think, oh, dang it, we need the sugar meal to get a chocolate. So you know what? I think we'll make butter. Bitter bar, bit of butter. Actually, let's have a look at the production now of what we need. So things like donuts and that don't need butter, surely not. I know we do need butter, of course we do. What am I talking about? I meant cheese, so anything we need cheese with. Cheese on your donuts? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Have a little look. So that doesn't need cheese. We could get the farm dairy. Do no, that's cheese is an output. So I'm sure there is a production. I could utilize cheese, but do we need it? Nope. Actually, there's only 120 grand for the ethanol plant and the animal production. So, actually, we don't need che cheese, I don't think. Nope. Sugar meal, spin rate. So yeah, there's no need for cheese at all. And has I sort of been waffing on? We've got a hundred years of cheese. So yeah, we'll leave at that and I'll just quickly go and get this turned off. Sorry, just sort of waffing on, just sort of Again, thinking that miles off where I want to go with the farming app. So yeah, the tea store, that's going to be 100 grand. The ethanol plant itself is 80 grand. So we'll have 26 grand left over, but then again also, got to remember, we've got everything else to sell, like the... <coughs> Sorry about that, a little cough there, so yeah. You know what, I'm going to sort of waffle on, let's just get some work done here, so we'll get the cotton on. Can we lift two bells? Oh, just about. So yeah, we'll get it sewed up, take these over to the spinnery. And then we'll go ahead and sell the... Oh, no. Ah. Rats. Oh, almost to the full. 
come on, correct. So yeah, we'll get this all sorted, get the furniture sold, and then we'll go for now, I think. here at the Andy ship and we're gonna get some sheep. but what do we get do we get lambs or do we get some more adult sheep I think we can hold 250 in total so thinking if we do 96 of adults and 96 lambs then we can potentially actually you know what do we want to breed or do we just yeah do we want to breed or just oh we'll just hit that car there because I was looking at the site nav I think you know what yeah we could potentially get a second sheep pen for breeding and then just sell sheep in that because I want to get the wool production up quite a bit away and that's just going past the dairy is producing a lot of butter it's already like five packs or whatever has been spawned up and whatever is in st storage actually how much is in storage there at the moment yes yeah, so nearly two pallets <laughs> oh, perhaps should raise that up a little bit we do have a full tanker full of water ready and obviously we've got our bells and that of hay and grass, so we'll take that over as well soon. But where is the Oh I was gonna they unload at the front so it makes my life oh I'll say easier as we just about got away with not killing ourselves. <laughs> So there we go, that is 36 sheep. And what I'm going to do quickly is just go off camera and I'll get the water in, I'll get the rest of the sheep in, so we need another 96 plus 8, yeah 8 sheep, so that's be 200 sheep. Then yeah, the 50 could be just left for breeding, yeah breeding lambs and that, and 
Yeah, so it'll be interesting how much water they need, how much even grass and that they need. Because if we produce way too much of grass and that, then yeah, if we can save some of that in storage, grass could be converted to silage as a worst case scenario. But yeah, I'm just sort of brings again, waffling on, brainstorming of what to do. But yeah, that seems like a good plan. So yeah, I'll get the rest of this done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments. And there we go. That is all of the sheep in. And actually, they did not take a lot of volumes. I thought 200 in, so sheep would take a lot of food. However, if we go to the animals go down to the sheep, they only require 25,000 litres of grass and 50,000 litres of water, so cause basically what I did was got the wheel loader and just took a couple of bells over, two of the yeah, two of the big bells and yeah, but he did not require all of them so I'm going to leave those there for now Actually, should yeah, I'll leave them there for now. I think it should be fine. Hopefully, sheep could last the winter. Hopefully, they get too cold. They got plenty of food and water. So, actually, speaking of which, I think we're just worn out. We have to make sure every time this war does not freeze over. It seems alright at the moment. So, worst case scenario, if it does freeze over, it could always get like some heat club couplers or heck even get a, f a flame for a little flame torch and just you know melt the water and top up again as and when it's needed for the rest of our animals chickens are right cows are good on TMR we do have a little bit in storage however I think we should seriously look at getting some TMR mix in and actually in between segments of last one and this one there has been a new addition that we could potentially use. So if we go into build mode, basically to make TMR use you'll need straw, hay and silage. However, there is a little production that says could use hay and silage to get TMR so if I can find which one it is no not you nope actually where is it to there we go it is the field products factory so how big it is? Oh, it's pretty big. So, try to think. Of, I was thinking. I think in general, running around normal space, I think perhaps the best thing to do would be extend the yard a bit. So, say this bit down to the road would be just part of the farmyard. Then, yes, we're losing part of the field. However, I think yeah, overall, it's going to be worth it. So, I think. We'll go and get some people in now to build this. It's gonna cost about a hundred grand and there we go. That is looking pretty nice. So if we go over to our productions tab in our little tablet here. Obviously we've got plenty of ways of making silage through hay and all that, so the silage aspect of it of making silage we are good on. But yeah, so we can make hay by putting gr just grass in and it'll f dry it in the silo. But also we can make silage out of potatoes, grass, chaff, sugar beet, sugar beet cut. So potentially we could put some sugar beet in there and we can make manure with a bit of straw and water potentially. 
but then also we can make so yeah a thousand years of size, thousand years of hay gets us two thousand years of TMR or we can use a bit of forage bit of forage yeah so forage chaff and water so yeah again that's another option for us but that yeah, it doesn't really yield us much because we're putting more in there and getting out however I think with this one with the hay and silage that is a better option for us but the thing is do they accept bells or is it a case of we have to somehow chop these bells up shred them potentially well, we do have a hail off over there does it have a you know a little inbuilt shredder on it but yeah thinking they trim the field back a bit it's perhaps the way to go so we'll go this way oh we just about fit in yeah we're gonna have to be a bit more efficient on this Again, there's still things like that where I'm sort of forcing my way in, ain't gonna help, so so give it a little nudge over. One excuse over. Why is it always to be like getting things stuck? I have no idea why, but that's just a thing I'm guessing I tend to get things stuck. is yeah sure what we could just go and pick up some hay actually you might know what nah we ain't gonna do that Oh, wait, do we have some hay bales? I'm sure we got some hay bales. So we can take. Oh, nope. Oh, come on. Ah, that's drowning the engine. We're going to need to get that recovered, I think, and hopefully, did flood the engine. There we go. So we managed to get it recovered, and we did have to pay six grand in recovery fees. And get some of the value of the engine, but it seemed all good, so that I'm happy with. Oh, oof. What did we hit? Did, did we hit. No, uh, we didn't hit the weather station. Yeah, I have no, no idea what we've done there, but. And then we'll get this over. We'll put the bells here a sec, because we'll see if they accept bells as a whole, or do have to make it loose. If it's loose, then we can have a look at the hayloft. lift up the axle just to get it in but so I think leave it to me to get something like this stuck Absolutely. yeah we're wedged both ways now perhaps oh, it looks like we're going to have to unload this and you know what, so bear with me a sec. I thought this was going to be a good idea in the episode, but when you get this recovered in that, uh, and uh, yeah, so bear with me a sec. <sighs> Typical me. <laughs> Actually, you know what, now we managed to get it unwedged, so 
now we can unload the cider gin. So if we go into the tablet here, see TMR, not TMR, cider just going in, we'll get TMR, not quite yet. So potentially this would have the maximum capacity of 864 litres of four, but well, yeah, of material a month. But that will be making 1.6 million litres of TMR, which I don't think we'll need at this rate. Don't get me wrong, I want more cows, but. So we'll grab a bell, drop the bell, pick it up again, shove it over here, and. The answer is. Nope, does not take bells, which I thought would be the case. Hence why I was going to take it over to the hayloft, because I'm pretty sure the hayloft's got a shredder on it. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure we put it in a few episodes ago, I think. I really hope so, because if not, it's going to be a total waste of time, I think. So there we go. Does it have a shredder in it? Yes it does. And now what we can do is hop over to you. And we can extract this. So potentially we could take oh, you know what? Yeah. Better be a sec. Um, where's it to? Um, nah, where's the AR2? Nope. Let's get you a sec. Let's go and grab the rest of the bells. Because then, um, with all the grass, we can use that to make hay, because we actually, oh yeah, we don't have hay, don't we? But does this make hay? Yes, it does, so... Potentially, we can make hay. Then we can use that. Will it be stored in there? And then, potentially, we can use that to make silage. On oh, no, TMR. Yeah, potentially. I've got an idea of sex, so dang it, that one bell, two bells we've got to pick up. Whoopsie. So, with this one production, we can make the hay, we can make the silage, and then between that, we can make two mixed rations. As long as we don't turn on the same production, like for silage, which would then split that cross free I think if I recall how it all works in that but yeah I'm not too sure but anyway it's got 83,000 years of grass and a little bit of hay just wedge my way in there we go there we go that's in so that's all gone, that's all being accepted, which is a good thing. But yeah, we still need to put a road path in, and... I think that's me, what's a so it's falling out in spring, so perhaps February, March-ish time with them. Have a look at that. Why is it... yeah. I need to remember this thing. <sighs> Doesn't have to wise up the circle turns in that. Oh, we've already got stuff in here. Fair enough. We'll put the grass in here. So yeah, we'll put grass in. So yeah, you know what? Let's do a little time. So let's get all this material and we'll get some sugar beet in. Get the hay in, get the sludge in and all that. And yeah, I just want to see how this all goes.
So what we're going to do now is just a, a bit of silage. Now time to lapse a little bit. We did put some hay in and sugar beet. And yeah, they've already consumed it all. So we have a look down here. We've yeah, got a bit of hay left. We need to transfer more over. A bit of silage in that still. And already we've got 170,000 litres of TMR. That's enough to us just Actually quite a significant amount of time so yes one of those things it's not going to require a lot of cost per month and speaking of which we got 48 49 grand for that load of silage and yeah let's try to look at what actually what we've got in storage wise crops wise wheat that's purely going to be for the animals 15 hour uh, February's best time to sell. Not sure why it's saying that. Pff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sugar beet. Just looking at wool. Yeah, not sure what's going on with the prices. Absolutely no idea whatsoever, but yeah, things like the bells and that. I think I think that's what I was gonna do between so now and next episode. I think next episode will be in March. I'll perhaps go and sell a lot of this off camera. I will of course show clips of it in the next episode. But yeah, so we are really looking at now. We've got sheep, we've got a brand new production factory that can get all of our material needs for our animals. Ooh, that was close. Actually, yeah, I think I cut across here. That's the thing I want to do. Well, that's we had an issue to involve the trench sort of continuing on the head, but that's the thing I want to do as well. But in spring, is just get a bunch of tracks put in. There we go, put a bit of grass in. So, yeah, we've got quite a bit of hay there in storage, and yes, we on our own, not worth much. Straw, we got a quarter of a million litres. Actually, do I have. Oh, I do have it. We could potentially make a bit of manure. Use a straw. Yeah, I think we could actually really get into that. But again, something like making manure now, we wouldn't have it near the farm, of course not. That would just be unhygienic in that. But yeah, potentially, we can have a way of converting that straw into manure, and then with the manure we can either use that in our new facility here, get some lovely soil fertilizer in, or sell it out to slurry yard or gosh, wait a minute how much does fertilizer go for because if we get manure because how much yeah let's do a quick look at how much manure is worth oh, we'll be down here we'll be up there be down here manure on its own is worth you get the right thing up 666, nice, <laughs> mark of the beast, at the slurry yard. However, solid fertilizer is worth 2,800, so that is over quadrupling our money. But yeah, at the moment, money wise, not an issue, especially with our 
furniture production. However, room to make more money and... Oh yes, that is... That's going to be just a pretty much devil's worth amount of money. We do think that it's just like the devil's worth of amount of money. Of course, we're going to make just no one TM, not TMR, manure that from our cows as natural byproducts, of course. But yeah. That is giving me some ideas of what to do. But yeah, so, anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today, just for now. This should be up hopefully today as recording this last bit on Monday morning. Next episode will be out aim for tomorrow Tuesday. Then so far roleplay and comms will be this week. I was gonna do it last week and that over the weekend, but yeah, a lot of things occurred and that yeah, just real life. As you think when things are getting back to normal, always something comes up to spoil the beans, but so yeah. As we, man, that we've got 35,000 litres of butter there. Bitter butter, bitter butter. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a bit of grass in, we'll make a bit of hay, that'll be gone within a couple of hours. But, yeah, we're looking really up now with this because we're definitely funding the new year. I think, not sure what be the funding, I think. This and sheep will be the thumbnail, perhaps, or something like that. But yeah, I am really excited for this new year on the farm. Big changes are coming, folks. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the like button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed yet, then please consider. But for what you do, hope you're nice to stay. But for now, me for my voice stream. I'll see you all a very soon. Brrr, it's cold. Oh, 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 oh.